Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Dengan izin, I'm Puan Zainah binti Muhammad from Kolej Tingkatan 6 Kulim, Kedah Darul Aman. My action research title, Improving Mastery of the Facts with a Topic of Infectious Diseases in Video Production by 11 Biology Students. Before I proceed to more deeper in this research, I will introduce a bit of teaching and learning process. Teaching is a process of dissemination knowledge or skill so that students can learn and keep them effective. The teaching process plan by the teacher should be implemented systematically and carefully following appropriate measures such as a planning, implementation and evaluation. Teacher as a role instructor to facilitate a student's learning. Teachers not only have to provide an attractive and coexist learning environment but also create effective lesson. The teaching and learning strategy that combine the best method, technique and approach have been planned to achieve optimal effect in this action research to find the best solution path and provide maximum results. From a previous research by Lo Haimi 2017 that active learning in 21st century was encouraged the student to, the, to be more collaborative, critical thinking and creative to express their ideas. And also the research from Priscilla and Don 2010 suggested teacher need to extend their approach in designing of learning opportunities for the students. Reflection of previous teaching and learning all method technique of teacher, uh, teaching and learning by teacher. So based on this issue, an approach must be made to find a solution to this problem through finding uh, the best method or technique to be implemented in overcome this issue. And also, during the questioning and answering session, uh, Q&A in the classroom, between the teacher and students, after teaching and learning for the topic of infectious diseases, there is about 73% 70, which is 8 of 11 students unable to answer important facts properly and accurately. Focus of research. Implementation of new teaching and learning technique by using a video production as a current technology in this 21st century for making more interesting and effectiveness in the classroom. The form of teaching and learning strategy which is recommended is student-centered and student role are now. So they are encouraged to engage in a total learning process and act actively in all learning activities. Teacher play their role to the minimum level. The general object objective of this research is to improve students in mastery by giving important facts, right and precise answer by using video production. 
The specific objective of this research are to assist students in describing the causes and symptoms of infectious diseases. Two, to improve students in explaining the transmission of infectious diseases. Three, to enhance students in discussing the roles of social, economical, and biological factors in the prevention of infectious diseases. This uh, research involve 11 students of second semester from form 6 biology class in college tingkatan 6 kulit. A research implementation in this study was conducted by using four elements which are observation, pretest, intervention and post-test. So from the observation, a Q&A in the classroom and the pretest result in order to overcome the problem, the intervention has been developed and implemented the action was taken by the students were divided into five groups. Every group was assigned to produce a video with a duration in between one until six minutes based on the subtopic was given. So group one, infectious disease. Group two, dengue. Group three, cholera. Group four, tuberculosis or TB. Group 5, Malaria. A video production by the group of students depends on their creativity. They can use any type of a relatable application such as a video maker and how to. And this task given uh, three weeks to complete. Next step, every group should uh, present their video production during class session. 10 minutes for each group. After presenting their video production, the post test was run. And a post test is given to students to evaluate the performance of student achievement as well as to identify effectiveness after the intervention program is implemented. So the post test was conducted after presenting all their video production that covered all the topic of infectious diseases. This test was conducted for 40 minutes and using the similar question from the pretest and consist 9 essay past year STPM question. However, the sequence of the questions are rearranged. A research outcome. <laughs> so from the figure one, uh, show comparison uh, analysis graph of student grade between pre-test and post-test. Alhamdulillah, the result show the students get 100% for principal pass in post-test compared to only 36.4% of principal pass during a pre-test, followed by 45.4% of partial pass and 18.2% of fail. The technique gives a positive feedback among the students through making a video production to cover their topic in learning processes and also improve the skill in terms of cognitive, learning and psychomotor. This study led to the best approach for students to understand a topic and answer the questions that follow the marking 
scheme. Figure two, example of video production by student. Figure three, presentation of video production by each group of student. A figure four, the student answered the hostess after their video presentation that covered the whole topic of infectious diseases. And figure five, show example of answer question by student. Recommendation uh, for future research by giving more uh, relatable biology topic and content for video production. An attractive animation should be added in video production to make more interesting video and the message can deliver to public community that can educate them and also one of effort in creating awareness program in terms of scientific field. Student experience in producing this video can be applied in other fields in the future. As conclusion, video production was a relatively new concept in classroom practice for more effective learning. Before I ending my presentation, I will show one example of a short video production by student. Last but not least, action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. Thank you very much. <laughs>